What up players? What must stay up in this mode? Got some Malifaux here. And it's the Outcast contingent with Summer Teeth Jones. All the models come in this like Battle Force box with two bits of foam. And they, they all came packed in the middle with the cards packed in the back. So before we get into what the models look like, let's take a look at the cards for those of you who play Malifaux's games. Each card this card comes <clears throat> packed with a painting of what the model is supposed to look like when it's painted. And it's got its stats on the back. And it also comes with specific rules of each of the special special rules that, that these figures have. So there's Summer Teeth Jones. It's the big war pig monster. What I really like about these are the the bases. I don't know how I'm going to be able to recreate them since I don't know if I want to buy the ones that are produced by this company. Uh, but I do want to keep the same effect. It's just I know that with the figures themselves it only comes with the rounded base and the figure. So unless I want to shell out some more money to get these specifically molded Bayou bases, I'm going to need to figure out how to recreate them myself. Bayou Gremlin, Bayou Gremlin. And I love the faces on these Bayou Gremlins and just the, the Wild West outfits, looks like they have. Oh, this guy's hilarious. The one holding the gun up to his to his face, looking inside. The, the mischievous little faces look a lot more fun to me than the Warhammer Fantasy Goblins. And even though they look a little bit more cartoony, I think if you paint them up like this and give them a really nice weathered look, and he's holding his little bottle of moonshine, then I think they're gonna look really well. Okay, so let's open up each of these little packs and take a look at what's inside. Alright, we're gonna start with the Bayou Gremlins first. I just opened the bag and all five of these little metal bits came out. You've got your four metal bodies. And this is the one that had the moonshine jug in his hand, but the moonshine jug actually comes on the sprue with a banjo, a violin, Oh, it just got lighter. A uh, cup and the moonshine bottle. So you have options. Here's this guy looking at his periscope. Here's the little gremlin that's holding the gun up to his head, uh, up to his eye. Yeah, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the back side of these scopes, too. You can't really see what the detail is going to look like because of the light reflecting off the metal. But you could see some mold lines on his hat. Those are going to need to be cleaned. Um, but overall, I love the detail on these kits. I love the rustic looking hillbilly hats and overalls and coats and the little pop-pop guns. <clears throat> Sorry, got a little frog in my throat. And let's take a look at this little accessory sprue. Yeah, you got a banjo, you got a violin, or fiddle, I guess. And you've got a cup and the jug of moonshine. Oh, it's turning it over and it came off. Okay, and you've got these four lipped bases. Lipped because it the lip comes over the edges. And I think that'll be good and different from 40k models because if you are using basic material like sand or even some water effects then they have something to 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 stack up against when, when you're gluing it down. Whereas if you have a regular 40k round base, then you could be putting basic material on and if you know if you put PVA or Elmer's glue then the material might start falling off the side if you if you put too much and you aren't there to supervise and watch it. Especially if you use something like water effects and you don't have anything on the side to hold it in. But <clears throat> I'm thinking, looking at these round bases, that some water effects might be just the thing with the Bayou, Bayou theme and all. Kind of like that Catechin Sentinel that I was building. And I don't know, I like them. So we're going to have to think about how to make these swampy Bayou themed bases. But let's continue looking at the next model, the War Pig. Okay, so here we have the war pig. First we'll take a look at the little gremlin rider on his back. Holding on for dear life, there's his upper body. 
And here's his lower body, his legs splayed out. Here's a little piggy tail. Let's take a look at the war pig's head and face. Got these great tusks. I'm kind of reminded of the Warhammer Fantasy model for the Razor Gore. <clears throat> in that this looks like a much more realistic representation of a crazy giant um, muscled up war pig. You see the musculature, the, the ears, long pointed ears. A little bit of fur on its back. Kind of remember, uh, reminds me of the orc boar boys, just like on on steroids. Yep. So there's the war pig. I like how he's got like little dainty, pretty pig feet and four legs. But he's just so huge and massive. Okay, so there's the war pig, and we're gonna go away now, and we are going to come back with Summer Teeth Jones and finish up the video. All right, so here we've got the granddaddy of the Bayou Gremlins, Summer Teeth Jones. He's got these medals on his hat. And this really fishy-lipped look on his, on his face with his jacked up grill and his cigar hanging out of his mouth. Let's take a look at the back. Hey, options, you don't really get any. You get two arms that come on the sprue. One's got his bottle of moonshine in his left hand, and in his right he's holding this pistol. I love the, the, the cartoony look of the, of the fat, fat barrel at the end, roped to this little hodgepodge contraption of metal and wood. It's really cute, cartoony. Looks just like what I expect the Bayou Gremlins to look like. <clears throat> and um, there he is. One thing that I was kind of disappointed with was that here's the base he comes with. When you try to put him in, he is just way too wide. And even if you cut this metal tab off, it looks like his legs are going to be pushed up right against the sides of the base. Which means you're probably going to have to cut off this whole tab and just glue him down or, or cut off like a great deal of, of, like cut the tab entirely off over here and cut it off of his right leg so that it'll fit in and the leg will, will hit the ground. But you're um, gonna need to think about that before you try placing him in. He's got a little bit of flash on him. Here where the coat meets the, meets the tab at the bottom. And he's also got some mold lines on his hat. Just like the other bio gremlins there, you can kind of see it at this angle. So a little bit of filing there will we'll do it, but <clears throat> let's just show you one more time what the models are going to look like when they're built up and painted to, a, to the high quality standard of the game. And there you have it. So it looks like this one they took the banjo and the, the moonshine jug, but it could also be a fiddle that he's holding, and it could also be a beer mug. Because this one you can't really have any options with him. Or this one, they're kind of molded to be as is. Or this one. But I enjoy them very much. Let's take a look at the at the fluff. Hardly more intelligent than the hogs they raise, the gremlins of Malifaux's bayou know only one thing. If it ain't gremlin, it's dinner. As dangerous to themselves as they are to anyone else, they pursue their prey with a reckless glee, even if it results in their own death. To those unfortunate enough to get lost in the swamp, a squealing pig is the last sound they hear. So, looks like they're going for that fun, quirky, works and goblins feel. Not too serious, kind of cartoony. Definitely not as dark and, and macabre as some of the other stuff I've seen from Malifaux, but I thought since I do so much orcs and goblins in my other gaming interest that this would be a fun little thing to switch over to before I go and do, you know, something like the sleeper or that Jack Hamlin figure that are just so dark and macabre. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little entry into Spooky Toberfest and continue watching for some more videos through the month of October. Like, comment, leave me a, a comment about what you think about the Malifaux system in general or specifically the Bayou Gremlins, Summer Teeth Jones. What is the game like to play? I don't have the rule book, so I, I don't really have any thoughts on it. 
but it looks fun, I like the figures, and who knows, maybe one day I'll get into it. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for more Speedtoberfest.